Let's time travel back to 2014 when Marvel Studios had a movie coming out called Guardians of the Galaxy and we're all like, who? Fast forward to now, Marvel Studios has a movie coming out called Eternals. And we're all like, who? What's going on, everybody? We're the Cine Fanatics. My name is Chris Adams. And I'm Robert Adams. And we are doing a trailer reaction for Marvel's Studios, The Eternals. I think it's just Eternals. Eternals. I don't think it's The Eternals. Yeah. But it it is The Eternals, at least The Eternals that we're focusing on in in, in this movie. There's Apparently, there's a bunch of them. The Eternals would be the group of people. If you're referring to them as one singular consortment of people, then yes, that would be The Eternals. But for those of you who haven't clicked off this video yet, we're going to watch The Eternals trailer that just came out today. Yeah. So what do we know about these? Uh, well, like we said in the intro, we know nothing about the Eternals. So as we, watch, <laughs> as we watch this trailer, we're going to find out hopefully a little bit. Meanwhile, you're going to write down in the comments below everything you know about the Eternals. But we'll get to that. Let's go ahead and watch this trailer. Such a nice song. So the cinematography is going to be uh, a thing. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that afterwards. <laughs> That's cool. It's beautiful. Huh. Isn't it? It's Gary and Darla. <laughs> There's Megan. Alice. Wow. Couldn't tell who that was. have watched unguided we have helped them progress and seen them accomplish wonders that's cool this is intense looking years, we have never interfered what? until now so they're like watchers planes yeah That explains why they weren't in Endgame. That's cool. Fascinating. Huh. It's interesting. Thank you for this. Oh, you are. So now that Captain Rogers and Iron Man are both gone, who do you think is going to lead the Avengers? I could lead them. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Gary. <laughs> Freaking Gary always thinks he can lead everything. I wonder if that was shawarma they were all sitting around that table eating. <laughs> yeah, if he wants to lead the Avengers, he better get that shawarma in real quick. <laughs> Get uh, used to shawarma. Apparently, that's the prerequisite to leading the Avengers is eating shawarma. You got to love the little post tag there at the end, just to remind everybody, yes, we know this looks vastly different than the other stuff we've done in the MCU, but it is still part of the MCU. Yeah, they're they're in the same universe as Iron Man and Captain America are slash were. Uh, the thing I want to point out with this is kind of like piggybacking on what you just said. The cinematography on that looked great. Here's yeah. the thing. Like, you look at this and you know, this movie is directed by Chloe Zhao who uh, just won the Oscar for best director for Nomadland. Uh, you can kind of look at this, like especially that, that shot at the beginning, you can kind of see like the visuals of Nomadland that she had yeah. set up in that movie at the beginning of that. And I'm pretty sure like that influences throughout this entire movie. Uh, yeah. The cinematography on this is going to be gorgeous. Uh, just in uh, those shots we've seen so far. Yeah, her in the director seat actually has me super excited for this because she's obviously somebody that Marvel trusts as to be very visionary in terms of what they want to accomplish with this movie. Mm -hmm. So I I do really like the idea of Chloe Zhao being here, being the one to direct this kind of this this big uh, oh, 
I don't know. Like you got the wilderness, you got the, you got the, the beautiful, the, those landscapes, you've got the, the beautiful imagery. It kind of reminds me of uh, Asgard back in Thor. Yeah. And they yeah. had Kenneth Brana directing that. And he was known for more like the Shakespearean fair and kind of those, kind of those kinds of set pieces. Um, so this is kind of the same thing that we're seeing come up again here. And I think that's, it's going to be an inspired choice directing wise, uh, just based on what we see already in this trailer. Yeah. Uh, it looks beautiful. Looks gorgeous. Now, again, like we mentioned at the beginning that really don't know anything about the Eternals, uh, that, I mean, I do know a little bit. I know that they're like a race of like eternal living, uh, creatures. Uh, the short story is that their race was spun off and formed a couple other alien species, one of which was the Titans, which uh, Thanos came from. So they have a connection to Thanos there. Um, and then I know uh, Gemma Chan's character is Cersei. Uh, I, I'm aware of her character from the comics. She was a part of the Avengers. I think she was both a part of the Avengers and the West Coast Avengers at one point. So yeah, the, they do have ties to Marvel. But for the most part, like in the comic books, they primarily stayed their own singular thing like I, I, yeah. I really don't recall too many of the actual Eternals intermingling with the rest of the Marvel Universe Wait, real quick her name is Cersei and this movie has Kit Harrington and Richard Madden in it yes <laughs> okay guess winter's coming um so yeah this this looks interesting the care the cast of characters is uh very colorful like I mean you look at their costumes and and just like the range of what they're going to be able to do and everything on screen being these, uh, they're not like gods, but they're, they're, they're somewhere they're above us layman folk here. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's all we really need to know. Uh, I'm excited to have a Marvel property that I know nothing about and get to find out about first time in the movie. I think that's going to be a fantastic experience. Uh, it looks great. I'm on board. That's um, about all I got. Uh, the one thing I'm curious about this is this is kind of setting up what probably would have been the original idea when they were originally uh, planning on bringing the Inhumans to an actual movie rather than the <laughs> whatever it was that they ended up making. Um, I'm wondering if that's like a lot of how this was done, the storylines that they may have. For the Eternals here, if that would be kind of like what they were originally planning to do with the Inhumans, because you got a lot of similarities in that, like a whole group, a whole family of a certain specific race of creatures or aliens or characters or whatever. Like, I'm wondering how much there might have been similarities in that, but... Uh, yeah. We'll have to wait to see when the movie comes out. If you're familiar with the Eter with the Eternals, if you're familiar with the Inhumans, you might see some parallels in that. I'm willing to guess that there will be some if you're a comic book fan. Otherwise, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm going to go down and we mentioned this at the beginning. Uh, I'm going to compare it to Guardians of the Galaxy, where we didn't know anything about them. It was just a whole new like group of characters that no one had ever heard of, and now like, they're some of the most beloved characters in all of movies. Yeah. I'm wondering if that if that lightning is going to strike twice for the Eternals here. So kind of curious yeah. to see where that goes. It's got a great cast: Angelina Jolie, Richard Madden, Kumail Nanjiani. Uh, it looks it looks amazing. I can't wait to see what's going to happen with this so yeah it's it's not too often you get a a marvel movie with a, a cool ensemble cast like this so i yeah. think they're going to do a whole lot of really cool stuff with this uh speaking of doing cool stuff we do a lot of cool stuff here on the cine fanatics channel you can find out over on our patreon it's patreon.com slash cine fanatics we do all sorts of stuff over there movie trivia nights watch alongs uh all kinds of things we got the discord for just a dollar you can join into the discord and be part of the movie loving community over there that we're building just a ton of fun so consider signing up at any tier that you feel is right for you that you can afford we would really appreciate that support uh other stuff we've got yeah other know. stuff come back uh tuesday nights at 9 30 p.m central time that would be 7 30 pacific 10 30 eastern that is the tagline it's the show where we talk about movies all the movie news from the past week we got some good stuff coming up this tuesday depending on when you watch this video if it's not this coming tuesday it'll probably be another tuesday coming up pretty soon Again, depending on when you watch this video, but yeah, probably got Tuesday good stuff nights, coming up on that Tuesday also. Yeah, typically. So yeah, <laughs> Tuesday nights, 9.30 p.m. Central Time. It's the tagline, our live stream show where we can interact with you. 
Anyways, as for us, we are the Cinefanatics. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Cinefanatics MLP. You can follow myself at Robert Adams MLP on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterbox. And you can probably follow me at Chris Adams MLP on all those same locations. We're easy to find everywhere on the internet. Uh, anyways, I believe that's going to do it for this video. So make sure you drop us a like. Let us know down below in the comments. What did you think of this video, of this reaction? What are your thoughts on Eternals? Are you eager to see it? Let us know down below. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's what YouTube wants us to tell you. So hit the subscribe button either down below this video or there's a subscribe button up here above my head. Over here off to the side are a couple other movies, uh, other videos that we have made. We haven't made movies yet. Jeez, that'd be interesting. Anyways, <laughs> as always. They, wait, they could have interfered in Endgame and didn't? What a bunch of...